Holy. Oh my gosh. Good morning, it's uh, day three. Merry Christmas, it's Christmas morning. Uh, beautiful day out right now. I'd say it's about low 50s, high 40s. Got down a little bit chilly last night, but it was nice to sleep in. Um, got 12 miles today to Woods Hole Shelter which is close to the summit of Blood Mountain. So we got two big climbs today. This first one this morning, which is kind of broken up by 200 foot elevation change and then go down and then up and then down. So it won't be too bad. But uh, the second climb going up Blood Mountain, it's gonna be a rough one. So, all right, you guys, we're gonna get up this mountain then maybe get some breakfast. We'll see you on up the trail. Three thousand one hundred and eighty feet elevation. Beautiful. A great way to spend Christmas morning.
All right, it's 11.20, just stopped at Woody Gap. Grabbed some oatmeal for lunch. I made some readjustments. Tracy's having some problems with her back. So I took a ton of her weight and put it in my bag. So I'm loaded up once again. <laughs> um, we are making the climb up this mountain. I can't even begin to tell you what the name of this mountain is. And then back down and then back up Blood Mountain to our shelter. Got about seven miles to go. Hopefully get to camp by about 3.30, 4 o'clock. We'll see you guys on up the trail. Yay! Well, as soon as you get to the bottom of the mountain, I start making you climb right back up. Um, we're at the base of Blood Mountain here. So we're going up to the shelter, which is about three quarters of the way up. Um, it's gonna be a lot of climbing. So we'll see you guys up at the top. One last push at the end of the day. Got about half mile up here and then down a couple hundred yards to the shelter. It is steep. So I'll see you guys on up at the top.
made it. <laughs> this shelter is way off the trail, about a half mile. We just kept walking and walking and walking. I'm like, didn't they have any land closer to the trail? So, uh, Worth the view. yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going to get a beautiful sunset tonight and a sunrise in the morning. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find it here. That is Blood Mountain, which we're climbing in the morning. I think 4,400 feet. I'm not sure. 42 to 4,400 feet. It's going to be a tough one. And then tomorrow we'll go into Neil's Gap. So we only got three and a half, it, 3 1 mile, but if you add the 0.4 miles that it took to get back here, we got a three and a half mile day tomorrow. So we'll get up early and get into Neil Gap early so that we can get uh, some food, some pizza and wings. Oh, good God. <laughs> So uh, we're going to get unpacked, get ready here, and get some food in our bellies. And then I will get back with you on the end of the day recap. See you in a little bit. All right, guys. It's the end of the night. I try to get this sunset, but the battery in the GoPro went dead. Mm, sorry about that. But it's almost down here. Um, we did 12 miles. 12.4 if you include the... Uh, approach trail to the cabin here <laughs> <laughs> which brings us to 36.5 or 37 miles with the hike to the cabin so we're just going to say 36.5 miles for three days tomorrow we go up blood mountain which you can kind of see in the background here um and then down to neil gap and take a nero in there only three and a half miles tomorrow so we'll get into neil gap get some laundry done, get a shower, and get some food, and then get back on the trail on Friday morning. So that's it. Tracy, you got anything? Beautiful day. Um, the weather was amazing. It was probably 65 all day long. Lots of up and downs. We probably summited 10 mountains today. Yeah, I, I think it was like seven or eight, but it, 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 it was the most ever. Alrighty, guys. Well, we're going to get in bed here and chill out for the rest of the night. We'll see you tomorrow.